In this video, we're going to be talking to Simon about his experiences as a husband of somebody with alopecia. We would like to answer your questions about alopecia. So send them to us and we'll answer them. This is Ask Alopecia UK. So this is Simon. Simon is our new Chair of Trustees at Alopecia UK. Uh, and he's come along today and we're going to ask him a few questions about his experiences uh, being the husband of um, a lady with alopecia. So you've been together with Anne for a number of years and then Anne started with alopecia. Can you tell us a little bit about how that started? Yeah, of course. Um, Anne, in around about 2012, earlier in the year, she was at the hairdressers and the hairdresser found a couple of tiny little bold spots um, and said she ought to get it checked. But it was not until around about October later in the year that it really started to go. And once it started to go, it, it went fairly quickly. And so what was your kind of first reaction to that then? Uh, I suppose my first reaction was, I don't know what's going on, what's mm. here. And being like most men, you want to find a solution to things. I found Alopecia UK's website and reading about research on there. And what became apparent quite quickly was there's no real answer to mm -hmm. where this is going and what was going to potentially happen. It was difficult for us uh, because we've been planning a very big holiday for almost four years. We've been planning to go to Australia and this literally accelerated up to the point where we, we were going on the plane. So mm -hmm. we, we left for Australia and had hair and when we came back she didn't. With all of that happening, kind of, how did that make you feel? It's frustrating and upsetting because uh, I'm a sort of person who wants to, to fix things, to make things right. And uh, the hardest part for me is seeing somebody that you love going through that, that process. Um, and that comes round to, for me, the biggest thing with alopecia is, is moving from where you are to the acceptance stage. And we needed to accept that as a couple. And I think that's easier for me to do because uh, I'm seeing it every day, whereas uh, my wife wouldn't look in the mirror. So with obviously, when Anne lost all the hair, um, and she will have looked different to what she looked like previously, did that change your view in any way? Of no, um, and, and ironically, I think as time's gone on, um, the new look I quite like. And sometimes there's something really quite comforting of knowing that we're sat watching the TV late in the evening and she sat there in a scarf or wig and got a bit too hot and the next minute I turn around and she sat there with no hair. Uh, and I think that's something quite special between us, the fact that she trusts me in that environment and, and is quite happy to sit there with, with no hair around me. My only concern is, is how hard it could be on some men to know what to say in the right circumstances. A lot of men don't know what to say in the right circumstances anyway when they're talking to their wives, girlfriends. So um, I can imagine some guys flounder and, and literally clam up and don't say anything. And I would encourage any woman who has alopecia and has a husband like that not to take that personally and not to translate that into meaning that they don't love them and the, the relationship's not strong, it's just how some guys cope with things, they, they shut up shop. So it's a, a, a reassurance really, that that's, if that's what's happening, that you shouldn't read too much into it. What do you feel has helped Anne, or you and Anne together, like what, what has helped that kind of journey? We have lots of conversations around her wanting reassurance that I still like the way she looks, and, and I genuinely do, but that's quite a hard thing to convince someone. Mm. Um, and just convincing women generally that you like the way they look, irrespective of whether they've got alopecia or not, is quite a hard thing to do. So throwing that into the mix is, is, um, has been a difficult thing. If there's a couple out there and they're watching this, have you got any advice for them? For me, the whole thing is about acceptance and accepting it, uh, what's happened. And one of the things that we were very keen to do when we got off of holiday was to tell everybody we knew what had happened. And so the conversation goes away and it puts it out there. It says, you know, this is what's happened. You may see 
uh, and with a scarf you may see it with hair or not and I think that's the thing it takes all the pressure off any hiding or or anything else and trying to pretend it's not happened it's also we have a, a phrase in our house sticking two fingers up to alopecia alopecia tries to control you and what we're doing is we're taking that power away from it and sticking two fingers up to it and saying so one of the important things in our houses actually we laugh quite a lot about these things yeah the other thing is is talking because um we refer to Anne's alopecia it's like a big black hole that she carries around with her and that black hole if if you're feeling a bit low and you're down or something else has happened in your life you can fall down that hole pretty quickly and helping them come back out of that hole so one of the things that we do is we've agreed that if she's feeling a bit low she'll come and talk to me and we will talk and we'll go through it and it never really achieves anything but what it does is it allows her to offload her feelings mm. onto me and those feelings don't impact me as much and quite often I just put them in a box and throw them out the door. So it's a way of, of, yeah. of, of getting ourselves back onto that even keel. So that was one husband's perspective. Thank you very much Simon for sharing that with us. If you have another perspective, please share it below.